Florida woman accused of zipping boyfriend in suitcase and leaving him to suffocate found guilty of murder. Gee, what a shock. Now, Sarah Boone, she didn't show much emotion on her face at all once they read the verdict. So this follows a 10-day trial. 47-year-old Sarah Boone has been found guilty of second-degree murder of her boyfriend, 42-year-old George Torres. Whatever happened to Netflix and chill, that was going so good for us. Now, all of a sudden, you're pushing to play this game. Okay, let's play the game that I want to play. Let's play hide and hock toi. Let's play hide and bring your sexy friend over. Let's play hide and cook me up a steak because I am not cramming myself into some sealable bag like an inbred carnival contortionist. Oh, I promise you, there would have never been a murder trial. There would have been a domestic call for me cursing her ass out way before there would have been a call to investigate a crime scene. A Florida woman accused of zipping her boyfriend in a suitcase and leaving him in there to suffocate was found guilty of murder on Friday. That's a horrible way to go out. Four years after what she had initially described to authorities as a case of drunken hide and seek gone wrong. Doesn't that defeat the purpose of hide and seek if you know where the person is hiding? If you're actually helping the person hide? Sarah Bull was convicted by an Orange County jury of second-degree murder in the February 2020 death of George Torres Jr. court record show. Torres was found dead in their Winter Park apartment after Boone said she zipped them into a suitcase during a game of hide-and-seek, and that in itself sounds sketchy as hell. The Orange County Sheriff's Office said in a report at the time, Boone said she thought it was funny, it was not funny, and that the pair had allegedly been drinking alcohol. Two videos were introduced. Uh, from her um, where he was begging for his life and uh, in a horrific um, turn of events and uh, she didn't try to let him out she didn't do anything to help him uh, she just went upstairs and went to sleep I mean, handcuffs are a little bit different because at least you can breathe, but it still comes down to a trust factor where you really don't know if someone is rocking with you like that until you're in that position. And apparently she wasn't really rocking with him like that. Hey, babe, you going to let me out of what? I got to go to the bathroom, babe. Ali, Ali, oxen free, babe. Ali, Ali, oxen free. She said that she had gone upstairs and passed out. How convenient. And when she woke up, she realized Torres was still inside the suitcase. I don't believe anything she said. When she unzipped it, Torres was unresponsive. Now, we know they can tell exactly how much alcohol was in his system at the time of death, but I would like to know what they found when they looked into how much she had to drink when all this was going on, because you know they looked into that, too. Boone testified at her trial, telling the court that the two had been drinking outside their apartment, and when she went inside, she assumed they would be going to bed, but Torres allegedly settled himself into a large suitcase. That sounds extremely weird, even for someone who who's drunk but then again it's her story and the other person who knows what happened is not with us anymore right in my head I said oh man we're obviously not going to be going to sleep anytime soon and then as soon as she said that she zipped them in a suitcase went upstairs and passed out as she said she did and I walked over and he was trying to get himself flat so that I couldn't tell he was in there she said Boone told the court I just kind of zipped him up we thought it was funny there was nothing funny and we're joking about how he was small enough to to fit inside the suitcase. Me personally, I don't believe there was ever a game of hide and seek. I didn't believe it then. I still don't believe it now. I believe that she sat there and watched him get drunk enough, just biding her time for him to become more manageable until she could lead him into that suitcase and zip it up. She said she moved it around a little bit while Torres was still inside the suitcase. We were joking and laughing about it, she said. Boone said at one point, the phrase at one point means he's already been in there for way too long. What do you mean? he's still in a suitcase for you to be able to say at one point the suitcase fell over and she decided that she would talk to him about his alleged abusive behavior and that's why I don't believe there were ever any games involved because now you want to talk about our relationship problems once I'm subdued she also pulled out her cell phone and began videotaping she told the court in the video clips Boone allegedly mocked Torres as he begged for help NBC affiliate WESH of Daytona reported she could 
heard on the clips telling him that is for everything you've done to me. When Torres said he couldn't breathe, Boone said that's on you. Oh, that's what I feel like when you choke on me. The news station reported, God damn, how is this not first degree murder? Boone testified that Torres's tone changed while he was in the suitcase and the two began arguing. She claimed Torres died after he put himself in a suitcase while playing a game of hide and seek. The jury was shown a video recorded by Sarah where Torres appears to be in the suitcase telling her he can't breathe. The jury was also shown pictures of injuries Boone says she suffered as part of ongoing spousal abuse. There's no way you can tell me that she didn't set this up. She made sure he got a few with him so he'll be a little bit more manageable. Got him into a terrible situation. Got him into a jam basically and then sprung this BS argument on him out of nowhere. There was never any game. Boone testified that Torres's tone changed while he was in a suitcase and the two began arguing. Honestly, my tone would have change to get me the hell out of here the things that he was saying very much frightened me cursing at me and threatening me i would have been saying some things too she told the court it got very heated very quickly and tell me that's why you zip them in a suitcase so you can get it all off your chest and not have to worry about any repercussions that makes a lot more sense than some stupid game of hide and seek boone said Torres began pushing on the suitcase and she feared he would get out after he was able to get a hand out of the suitcase she hit his hand with a baseball bat until he put it back inside. That's telling me that you wanted him to stay in there. She told the court that she went upstairs and fell asleep. When she woke up, she assumed Torres had left the apartment and then she saw the suitcase and remembered about the night prior. The state said that Boone was not in imminent danger when she refused to unzip the suitcase. According to WESH, prosecutors said Boone killed her boyfriend because she felt he deserved to die because of his past actions. She is expected to be sentence on December 2nd. There you have it kids, Sarah Boone. Me personally, I think it should be murder one. What do you think?